Hello, everybody, and welcome to Final Show Films. I'm John, your executive producer here, and thanks for tuning in to watch or listen to whatever it is you're about to watch or listen to. In these trying times, we really do appreciate everyone that feels that we are worth their time, and we hope that we're able to give you something entertaining to while away the time as you spend it. Uh, we particularly want to thank those of you that feel like we're worth financially contributing to, uh, particularly our $25 and up supporters on Patreon, who are Antitonic, Drevian Alexander, Cat Waterflame, Rowan Parker, and Samantha Bates. Yes, I read that off of a list. Thank you very much for supporting us. I know that in these uncertain times, finances are tough for everybody, so that you're willing to donate to us means a lot to all of us here, and we thank you. That being said, please sit back, relax, and enjoy. We're live. Hello, everybody, and welcome once again to In Grove or Green, the Changeling, the Lost Chronicle that we're running here on Final Show Films. My name is Jack. I am your storyteller this evening, and I am joined by John. I'm John. I'm playing Akujin, the Ogre Metal Flesh Blood Brute, currently sitting at all health ranks filled with lethal. And William. Hi, I am William, and I'm playing Fade, the Ogre Gristle Grinder, who is significantly less wounded at only one lethal. And Mara. Hi, I'm Mara, and I'm playing List the Wise and Oracle, whose hands are burnt. I have two weasel. And Jeremy. Hi, I'm Jeremy. I'm playing Adele Elizabeth Hamilton, Darkling Grave White, and wounds don't matter. And Holly. Hi, I'm Holly. I'm playing Lard, Beast Windwing, and I am at full health. And Aaron. Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm playing Mira Ferris Kyrugit. And Adele is actually at three away from dying wound level. And I am the one who has to fix all these fuckers. And when last we were in Baltimore, the Motley Unlikely and their ally Akujin delved into the hedge near the boundaries of Baltimore at the direction of Mr. Green, one of the leaders of the Margravit of the Brim. Seeking information on the recent invasions of hobgoblins from the liminal dimension between the real and Arcadia, the Changelings discovered a small war camp of hostile hobs. Akujin, meanwhile, caught sight of a deadly figure from his past lurking in the thorns, and as part of the motley scouted the camp, the others responded to that ambush. Ultimately, the camp was alerted, and the Changelings fled the hedge with their allies, taking with them a small book acquired from the goblins' curing hut. With the gate now closed behind them and Summer Court back up arriving to gather intel, we rejoin our characters as a muffled voice sounds from within a bag that one of the newly arrived Summer Court carries. Nights are cold and the darkness lingers over the frozen waste. Such a time in such a region is when you can sometimes glimpse the young princess of the frost. Do not attack her. She is attended by pale knights and white soldiers as numerous as snowflakes. Do not beseech her. Her heart and her pity are kept in a chilled coffer in her mother's chambers. And above all, do not halt her journey, for she bears treaties and pledges with the cold and the wind and the stones and the dark itself on behalf of her father, the one named Silence and Death. Be wise and pass her by, for even the smallest princess knows she is the daughter of a king. Grammatical correction. At which... At which point, 
the individual holding the bag whips it open and yanks out this kind of boombox radio combination weird technological conglomerate that he's put together. Oh shit, it's starting to do that thing again. Yes, oh good, we're we not the only it. ones that happens to. It's the worst. Grammatical correction, out of character. Dark figure that is his past, not from his past. Poetic license or something. <laughs> and uh, still, and still you just as true. To mm. Correct reality on what things are. Yes, I do. Nope, that's not how the magic system works in this game. That's the other one. Anyway. Yeah, that's a mage game. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Do you work this way? Gale just kind of looks over at Clink, who's standing there, fiddling with knobs and twisting things. Yes, especially around these people. Mm -hmm. So, what do you need? What happened? Um, most of you are bleeding. That's what happens when you when you run up against a squad of hobs. And also burnt. We're fine, though. The oxygen. Talking is going to rupture for the stitches. Uh, just fine. Hello, I assume that you're for the relief from summer. Uh huh. There we was are. a permanently opened hedge gate here. We managed to distort the door. Um, uh, more gestures to uh, Barnaby. Thank you. The boyfriend. The boyfriend. Gestures <laughs> <laughs> um, to the, the boyfriend. Gestures to the, the boyfriend. boyfriend. Well, there's the boyfriend, yeah. and then there's the girlfriend, which is Phages. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, both of you there have accessories. Yeah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> accessories wow. to murder. <laughs> They're NPCs. You can't expect me to remember their names. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, just during to Barn. Uh, can give you more details on that if you need them. Beyond the gate, we you found a tra track trough trod trod trod, trod, trod that led to a hobgoblin camp. Um, about I know someone gave an estimate. Uh, are X we number estimate of, of what distance? Yeah, Rough about a quarter mile. mile. Time. About yeah, quarter about a quarter mile. mile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. We were ambushed by some figure of the hedge at the gate and had to sound a retreat. The sounding the retreat did alert the camp, but before they were able to catch up with us, we, we left. Most of the damage is from our encounter with the hedge visage. Right. Did you get that? And she looks over to the uh, the figure who's standing there with a with a book open and a uh, very amphibian aspect to him, who's feverishly writing all this, transcribing it down as as Mira goes into it. Uh, I'd be happy to get you any more details that you you need and any support. But once you're set up here sufficiently, I'd really like to get at my I group out, out. As you noticed, we're not in the best state of repair, and we need to attend to that as quickly as possible. We also yes. Um, go ahead. We also got some information on the person leading the hobgoblins that have been doing the attacks. What do you know there? Clink, meanwhile, has stepped over to Barnaby and is having a hushed conversation with him about the gate apparently. Hmm? That's gonna have to be gone through. We don't know what we have, we just know we have it so we're gonna have to go through it first. Clutch the book tighter. Meanwhile, I say, as I spend a glamour on Forger's Endurance to get an extra dot of stamina so I can stand up, uh, <laughs> <laughs> as I now have... Kira is like right there still trying to 
put on salve and wrap bandages. Uh, as I now have another health level, so I'm not full up on lethal anymore. Um, <laughs> uh, stand up. Made a deal with the Mark of the Brim. Uh, after we get back, we're going to set up a communication line between us and them to get a better early warning system out. Also, we're going to want to get some volunteers that are wanting that are able to come out and help them guard some of the gates around here so we can keep the ma uh, a mass of hubs like what ha like what hit the city earlier from coming in again through places like this let's say thumbing at the at the gate L nods all right well if the border needs more bodies we'll see what we can manage you know mm -hmm. a couple of candidates that haven't corded up yet who might be interested in that sort of thing we have a general idea of where they're coming from now the according to what we've learned from the margaret they've been making more and more incursions out in this area recently so we can get a rotating group of people out here to keep an eye on things we can probably stop a massive horde like what hit us previously from coming out again at least from here all right. Well, that'll depend on the tactical acumen of whoever is running them, I suppose. When one gate closes, your best tactic is to just open another one that's not being watched, but we'll see what we can do. Yep. But as far as the assignment War Dancer gave us, just about got it done. Excellent. Well, uh, Liz, what do you have there? Hmm? Book. And that's your best intel? Yes, it's a book of, of, about, I, I don't know if we're supposed to, say, hmm. it's, it's a book about Queen Gracie. About her? That seems to be the case. Yes. All right. Well, recovered from the hops camp, it, so worth something. Mm -hmm. We'll have to pour through it. Once you perused it, uh, we'll have uh, Newton Clink stop by and help with that if you need them. I don't need help. Otherwise, they'll just take the report. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Perfect. All right. Well, we'll secure things here since the rest of you seem to need a breather. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably a Wonderful. good idea. All right. If you think of anything else or if anything else pops into mind that you neglected to let us know, I realize things are a little hot right now, so take some time to cool down and let us know if there's anything you recall after the fact that might be useful. Of course. And she kind of snaps her fingers and the other two members of the Motley uh, that have just arrived kind of step in. And... I'll hand her a business card. Um... It just, it's a business card for a nondescript pink pastel bakery. Okay. She'll pick that up, flip it but back it and forth. a number of either my phone or my burner on it. I don't okay. remember. Slides it into a pocket. Paige looks over the group. You're fucked up. You're going to be tending to people. Which, means, which I guess means I'm driving back at this point. If you wouldn't mind, that would be lovely. Now, uh, Barnaby you, kind of waves. Can you please sit down somewhere where I can and attend to this in a more permanent fashion? Yeah, sure. And I start heading over towards the Jeep. Yeah. yeah. Right. Two, there are two vehicles to drive, yes? Yeah. Yeah, so um, Barnaby and Phage. <laughs> For the people who uh, aren't super fun. Jeremy Adele. Mm -hmm. Yes. As we, as we walk off, 
um, uh, away from away from from the summer group. There is a particular word that quiet after far enough away, a particular word that quietly escapes Adele's mouth that I will not be saying, but I imagine you can guess what it is. Start with a B is or it, a C? A C. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, say <laughs> bitch. <laughs> what a check. I have I was, no issue with that one. I was going to say, is this is it right? Mm -hmm. Are, are we are we go are we going Sawyer from Lost or are we going Billy Butcher from The Boys? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Billy Butcher. You're right, I figured. <laughs> well, well, you guys all managed to get into vehicles. Yeah, so I will, since Phage insisted on driving, I will get into the back seat of the Jeep. I'll get in next to Akujin and start doing medical. <laughs> okay. Do and... you have any goblin fruit with you? No, but okay. my care in the back of a car with adequate equipment is the equivalent of an emergency room. Uh... Of a hospital ICU, yeah. Yeah, of a yeah. hospital ICU. So also, um, he's getting the best care you can expect after getting run over and stabbed. And then <laughs> can you use any type of uh, goblin fruit? I still have some from like, I, my ages ago. My preparation method takes time. Okay. So if Liz mentions having goblin fruit, well, if we want an emergency cure-all well, for the next time something like this happens, I can process it. Unfortunately, the candy process is a little bit of a slower version of that sort of method. Also, when Phage turns on the Jeep, the radio starts playing. As my own worst enemy starts playing on the radio. I was, I was trying to figure out what song that was. <laughs> Okay, nope, nope, I hear it now. I, yeah. I, I, I made that connection. <laughs> I know. I have one serpent gourd and a coup nettle in my gear. I think that's accurate. It's it's the most recognizable opening that, sting from the, that era of music that I can think right, of. But I don't think either of those are the sort that heal. Yeah, Sue Steps the healing have... one specifically. Actually, but... John, do you have goblin fruit metabolism? I don't know what that means, so probably not. Okay. There's yeah. a mm -hmm. there is a merit you can take that means that you get more healing from goblin fruit. Nope, I do not have that. Okay. Yeah. Um I do have fairy healing which allows me to process those fruit into a cure that even works on mundanes, but Although, you said you have sooth sap, right? No, I do not. Okay. That's mm -hmm. the one that we don't have cuz that got used. All right. <clears throat> um, so you can, uh, Mira, you can make intelligence and medicine because that's what your intelligence and medicine is always the the dice pool for, you know, I downgrading. In, on this. That's okay. Uh, each each roll requires an hour, so we'll say basically in the car and then wherever you guys decide to go to next. Hey, Liz, yeah. is there a I'll library? I'll let everyone else have that conversation. Four successes um, okay. on that first roll. Hey, Liz, do you, uh, know... did you Did you give yourself nine agains on that? Because oh, it's no. medicine for you. Hmm. Uh, there weren't any nines there, so. Nine. Okay. So what happens, on, 10, what but... happens on four successes? Uh, progress is made. You need five successes to downgrade a lethal to a bashing. All right, cool. Um, as we're getting ready to go, hey, Liz, uh, I know Autumn has a library. Do you know where that is? Uh huh. Could you take me there um, at some point? Yeah. Uh, first off, where the hell are we headed? Back to Adele's, to the hot, to the 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 Hollow House, or somewhere else? Uh, uh, Phage, give me a wits and empathy plus 12. You're not taking me back to Adele's, Phage. 
I was going to say. Never mind. Don't make the roll. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is a visible she knew that. stiffening of the back. <laughs> she knew the answer to that, but that's she it. was going to ask anyway. <laughs> Uh, no, Jen, that's fair. Do you have somewhere <laughs> that you'd prefer to go? Oh, yeah. Preferably somewhere with a cot or something, at least. Oh, yeah. I will give the address to my principal biker bar where I sleep most of the time. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Where all my boys are and where my alcohol is. <laughs> I'm assuming we can go in through the back to cause less of a stir. You're a bit of a sight like this, and any time I spend on hair and makeup is going to be time not spent on fixing what's wrong. If I go, th if we go through the back, we can get to my room pretty easily. If we go through the front, I'll get a free round of drinks. You will definitely still be in shape to get a free round of drinks afterwards. <laughs> Let's go. And she will head back. back. Seat, the backseat car door to Barnaby's car slams. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine I you guys are going in a different direction. Us. I'm very sorry. I'm not surprised. Yes. <laughs> Adele we, uh, or whoever is directing Barnaby where to drive, which would probably be either, he would probably take directions from either Adele or Lark. I mean, Lark will probably ask when Adele gets in the car, where are we okay. going? You want to go back to your Wherever place? is most convenient. Um, I can go to your place. I can go to your guys. The hollow house thing. Crack, crack house. Liz is gonna, yeah, go in Barnaby's car and crack the back to the crack house. The workshop's there. Crack house it is. What is there? My workshop. Uh, notes. Stuff. Very well. All my stuff. I can drop you off after if you rather not. No, no, no. We the this is let's, let's stay together for now. All right. Probably a good idea. If it's okay, I've got to check in with my gang after I drop you guys off, so I'm going to do that. Unless you need me to stick around, love. Uh, no, I'm I'm kind of concerned about you though. Are Are you doing okay? He kind of looks at his palms. <laughs> I mean, if you've got something wrapped so I don't, you know, bleed on the steering wheel. Hang on. <laughs> There's definitely an extra copy of Mira's emergency bag in the back if Liz wants to use it. Just say, oh, there is the sound yeah, of Yeah, actually, Mira, Mira gave Lark a uh, first aid oh. kit. Yes, I gave you a burn kit um, oh. when I was, yeah. Yeah, then she'll get some bandages out of there and wrap his hand. Okay. One of you give me a dexterity in medicine, then. I'm good at medicine. Want to help? You are probably better than me at medicine. I am tolerable. Very likely. I have four dexterity and three medicine. I have you. One medicine and three dexterity. Yeah. You go. <laughs> Two and three. Two successes. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, you can you can bandage those up so he's capable of, even with painful hands, managing to to drive without too much difficulty. He grit he grits his teeth a little bit and just gets you guys where you're going. Liz is going to start looking through the book on the drive back because it's a little bit of a ways, right? You've probably got about a half hour, 45 minutes drive if you're taking yeah. it easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to, after finishing that, curl up somewhere in the back and start looking at it. We got here. Uh, give, so uh, <clears throat> give me a. I'm going to say wits and investigation. Okay. One success. Okay. Uh, you're able to take a little bit of time, flip through it. 
it's a it's a listing of there's a there's there's a it's got a brown linen cover now <laughs> fairly scorched uh with the stamp gold titling inside there are a number of disparate stories aphorisms that sort of thing um and as a breakdown of what you see, the first thing is the entry, Queen Gracie Makes a Feast, which is kind of a little bit of narrative and then, but mostly just an eclectic grocery list. Um, mm -hmm. You know, potatoes, gumdrops, jam, dolphins, you know, that sort of listing. Mm-hmm. There's a following story of Queen Gracie saves a knight, where through clever thinking, uh, the the protagonist manages to extract a young knight and his horse out of a swamp with her gang of hobgoblins. The solution involves utilizing the hobgoblins as stepping stones, and then they're not referenced anymore, so they were apparently left to drown in the swamp. Mm -hmm. Um, there's the Queen Gracie Cleans the Castle, uh, which is a standard sort of tale of the castle is very dirty. Magic makes chores more fun. Uh, also, most, most of the actual work is done by other characters and entities. Uh, there's at least one, uh, one reference to a hobgoblin named Bubbly Jim, who apparently has soap for blood, and he's apparently bled dry so that they can get as much soap as they need so uh -huh. that's a thing uh there's the story queen gracie rides a squirrel which is literally what it says on the tin um there's queen gracie writes a letter uh which is apparently to her absent father uh but the letter can't be delivered so ultimately she saves it to read to him whenever he gets back uh there's a lot of you know and the letter was given to a messenger who stumbled into the thorns and got his eyes stabbed out. So he wasn't successful. So the letter was given to another messenger who fell off a cliff. So he must have died. The letter is somehow retrieved, given to another messenger who comes to some other type of violent end. Um, and uh, that gets you, you know, at least the first half of the book covered by the time you get to your destination. Okay. but there's more in there that you haven't covered yet. It's a little difficult to parse because it's kind it's it's handwritten and whoever wrote this does not have the best handwriting, so it's slow going. Um handwritten uh in pen, pencil, uh crayon, some sort marker, of ink. Some sort of ink. Maybe a quill. Maybe a calligraphy pen. Maybe blood. Yeah, Maybe a fountain good. pen. I mean, you can't if... can't write with blood as your tool. You can use it as the ink, but it's not the pen. Certain that Mortal Kombat on... characters beg to differ. <laughs> that depends on how creative your waterbending skills are. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate both of these references. Uh, how how many hours are you going to spend with uh, with Aquagen, Mira? Um, a minimum of getting him down to getting him three usable health levels. All right. Give uh, me another uh, intelligence and medicine right. with uh, nine again. Spending willpower again. Okay. Plus three. I appreciate that you are taking the response I take to cleaning my desk, which is, eh, it's close enough. <laughs> I I think that Mira is aware that tolerance for her nannying is minimal sometimes so i'm getting him into a state where he's not on the verge of 
death and hoping that he'll take care of his shit. Uh, <laughs> so that All right, that's a total of eight. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and give me one more. With willpower. And after this, I probably won't spend any more because I need that for other things. <laughs> Two successes. Okay, so that's a total of 10. So you've managed to downgrade two lethal to bashing. All right. Uh, one of which goes away over the course of some of those hours. So, yeah. um, and you can, you can keep doing that for, I mean, it's... For, for, and for, for Mira's edification, Akujin, once he's like settled down on like the couch that he's, that he sleeps on, mm -hmm. he just lays perfectly still and doesn't move. Right. He doesn't react. He doesn't say anything. He doesn't get upset. He just lets you work. Like, almost like he's used to laying in a coffin for, ser for extended periods of time. Mira keeps up a happy chatter. Um, but after about three hours, you feel like this is sort of the intent, the, this is sort of as much as you're going to manage yeah. for today. Um, there's, there, there are limits to what medical treatment mm -hmm. can, can achieve. There's only so much I can stitch up before I'm just reopening the wounds. Everything needs time to settle. Use the ointment I gave you. Ooh, especially on the burns um, and a series of other aftercare instructions. And I will be leaving a copy of all of this with Diego. Thumbs up. Uh, Diego, when I find him, will get a just a pa written paper, probably on in pastel stationery series of aftercare instructions to be sure it are being observed. So it's written on pastel stationery. Is it written in a doctor's tiny, tiny handwriting? Um, interestingly, no. Mira's handwriting, it looks like the curly font. You can do the curly <laughs> MT. Is it written? Is the ink written in a distinct enough font apart from the the pastel colored paper, or a distinct enough color? Yes, because... it's probably like a black pen. Um, she is not actually a '90s teenager, and thus does not have sparkly <laughs> well, gel pens. I was gonna say she's not writing in sparkly. The gel only reason ink I ask is because hey, I have. <laughs> I, I'm <laughs> I'm leaving this up to Jack, but Diego is basically a dog, so <laughs> I don't know if he's colorblind or not. <laughs> he's not colorblind. Okay. <laughs> and even if he was colorblind, <laughs> he should be able to read this. It's just fancy stationery. It's right. what she had. Okay. I just like I just really like the, the idea kind of, of person like person that acquires things only in her aesthetic color palette. I just really like the idea of her like like pink pastel paper, blue pastel font or ink, and then Diego looks at it, it's like this is a blank piece of paper. <laughs> Listen, I'm just trying I'm just trying not to be offended at being called out over being a nineties teenager with sparkle pens. Just yeah. so, in fairness, I also had those. I just understood them to be an artifact of the night. They are. I oh, like they one hundred percent are. My, under, oh, my yeah. understanding is that the coolest kid was the kid who had the most gel pens. Our that was abjectly <laughs> not true. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't. Our that slap. Is what the gel pen advertisements would have you think, though. Yeah, exactly. they were kind That's of collectible. the case. Yeah. Were slap. Were, 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 were slap bracelets the nineties or were yes. they early two thousands? Uh, yeah. Well, late nineties, well, were... early aughts. Yeah. yeah. That is something you see on a two yeah. thousands kids list, but it's yeah. not something that didn't exist. Anymore. We weren't too keen on them at because that yeah, because I don't yeah. remember we them existing. Slap bracelets and Furbies because we craved existential pain. I because I don't remember them existing in the 90s 
but I but they feel like a '90s thing. They we were too in the '90s. We were too busy with our sparkle pens and pogs. <laughs> but you hand I this had neither of those uniquely aesthetic doctor's uh, doctor uh, medical chart, more or less. Yeah, handwritten medical chart to Diego, who takes it, gives it a look, looks back at you. You got it, medically blonde. <laughs> <laughs> Oh I'm my not God. actually blonde, but I appreciate the compliment. Oh my God! Why could he have not said that in front of the rest of the motley? <laughs> that would have become the new nickname. Nickname, uh. name. <laughs> <laughs> because you and you do get the idea that Mira. he meant it as a compliment. Yeah. Um, because, because you guys don't hang out with Diego enough. I'm Obviously. pretty sure Mira has not seen that movie. I need to check out check what year it came out. Uh, to uh, two thousand one. Yeah. yeah, if it was in the two thousands, Mira hasn't seen it. Yeah, yeah two thousand one. Sure. <laughs> and we don't hang out with Diego because he generally hangs out. He generally has bad taste with who he hangs out with, or really good taste. There's no accounting for taste. Everybody <laughs> knows this. Yeah, that would be during Mira's time gap. Um, Fair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like the I like to think that the first experience Mira has of met with Legally Blonde is the musical. Someone's gonna have to show her the. <laughs> oh, that, I don't the MT- think she has any MTV reason musical? to seek out an the older movie Legally Blonde at this point. <laughs> she just didn't get the reference. The anyway. MTV musical starring the girl from Jumanji, which is not something I knew before this past week. <laughs> I mean, no, there is an actual Legally Blonde. Yeah, like the, musical. I'm talking like the 2017 UK tour or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm talking about the MTV musical, which I just saw for the first time this past that, week. That's the same musical. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, I figured yeah, probably. Film, yeah. Which is actually pretty damn good. <laughs> oh, I've not seen any of this. It's great. Everybody should watch it at least once. All right. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Um, as soon but as you Mira, got as soon as, so, as soon as Mira since, is out of since the bar, most of that time is sent is spent there. We will then pivot back to what's happening at the crack house. Okay. Before we get there, just at mm-hmm. some point, if out of the back seat, will come Barnaby. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. And that's where it's left. It pops up, looks back, looks forward, looks back, looks forward. I mean, <laughs> back to the book. I mean, Lark, <laughs> Lark will pick up from there. Yes, thank you. You went above and beyond for our motley and for everyone. He kind of gives you a, a, a kind of sideways look where you can see his brain doing that thing where he's finding the one exception to what your statement is, which is okay, you went above and beyond for the motley. Sure. Went above and beyond for everybody. Sure. He does not consider himself to have gone above and beyond for his romantic partner, but sure. (laughs) No problem. They're going to meet me there so that I don't have to take your guys' vehicle to get where I'm going. I mean, I'd also prefer you to not continue driving with your hand the way it is. That would probably be not advisable. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. It needs to rest. Do you need help? Do you need more medical assistance when we get to the house? I have stuff in the bathroom. Yeah, but we're we're pretty well supplied on my side too. So if you guys 
You want to focus on your research. Okay. Yeah. Anima can stitch me up. Mm -hmm. Um, after about the first hour, Mira would have remembered to send a text to list cataloging everyone who needs to be looked at. Phage is just bruised. Adele seems to be rough. You know, like series of things to remind Liz to do medical stuff. It says I know back in capital letters. I'm poor Nira. I'm glad we're on the same page. So mean to her. Lots of hearts. Um, and you get a lot of hearts back. Oh, Aww. this is good. This is going the Jeremy route of communicating with people that they're pissy with. <laughs> um, and I will also update Winter at some is, point. Is, is Liss officially Jeremy on Overwatch chat? <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, Jeremy, Jeremy anywhere. <laughs> I did recently tell a bunch of people that I really wish there was a... Uh, uh, Pacific Northwest equivalent of Bless Your Heart. Oh, yeah. Because I would own that. <laughs> oh, well, bless your heart. For the heart. context for Mara and also the listeners, and also probably Holly, uh, when people say rude things during video games, I'm Jeremy's super nice. Jeremy is, is, is a very polite response followed by a sarcastic and spam filter triggering level of hearts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case they actually think that it's that it's that I'm I'm not getting the point. <laughs> yep. Yep. I see. <laughs> Jeremy, Jer Jeremy Jeremy and I have the Jer polar opposite methods of dealing with people. <laughs> Liz is not using hearts the same way they you are, mean but the best. <laughs> Looks similar. <laughs> but uh, once you once you arrive at uh, at the crack house, um, you can there's there's a a vehicle that's that's already waiting for you there. Uh, and Barnaby gives like a kiss, gives everybody else a thumbs up with his good hand. <laughs> All right. Take care. Text me or call me later and let me know you're still alive. Will do. Maybe give yourself a couple days. I feel like you probably earned it. She'll shrug. Okay. All right. I'll see you. After Mira leaves, I do two things. One, okay. I yell for a beer. Two, I call War Dancer and provide her the same update that I pro that we provided Gail directly okay. so that it's coming from me rather than coming from someone else. All right. Sounds good. Um, quick question for Mira. Would Mira have gotten her own transport back? Because Fade probably would not have sat around for the entire length of the medical treatment. Um, I mean, in three hours, Mira is going to text unless something is suddenly happening the minute people get back in three hours mira is probably going to text done patching up aku and um where are we well that's what we're going to determine on this well, but that's yeah. good to know <laughs> but i i would have tried to rope myself into that conversation yeah well, sure for, thing for, for reference when Phage left, because I believe the bar that we pit, that we dropped you off at is the same bar that we met you at, probably. No, different bar. But your bike was in the back of my jeep, regardless. Right. Yeah. So, so she she yeah. grabs grabs her bike, and immediately texts uh, Paige, "I'm fucking starving. You feel like a big meal?" Question mark. 
she will definitely meet you for that. Mm. Yeah. And so she will go for a meal with Paige. Okay. After I get my strength to four, then I'm going for the gluttonous feast of hell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the glamour for that right now. I know she's just literally starving. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Liss, Adele, and Lark. Mm-hmm. Are all dropped off, dropped off uh, with their own vehicle, of course, uh, at the crack house. Pushed out the car while going 15 miles an hour, slowing to 15 miles an hour. (laughs) Fuck and roll. (laughs) No. Fuck and roll, Grandma. (laughs) (laughs) So, what are you guys doing before? Going inside, I assume. Yeah. 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 You uh, guys go inside. The house is quiet. I, th- I'm, I'm going to say because I don't have strong evidence that I think would indicate otherwise that this is also where Butterfly is currently yeah. located. That's where she was last, at least. Uh-huh. Hi. Uh, but yeah. Hi. Busy. Maybe. Uh, I. Hi. Hi. My God. <laughs> I'm going to. What counts as my room? You're injured. Excuse do you me. do you, can't? Will you let me Sorry. Fix, fix you, or are you not going to? I mean, you can certainly. Because otherwise, I can read. <laughs> you can certainly do what you what what you can. I don't know. I think this is just going to have to heal, but yes. Okay. Busy right now. Later. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna... Hi. Hi. Okay, sit down here. And then I'm gonna start working away to helping heal Adele a little bit, hopefully. Okay. To Adele, Lark will say, um, do, do you need anything else? I've got like some alcohol in my room. Uh, sorry, sorry, I got a work email. Say that again. Uh, Lark will say, do you need anything else? I've got some alcohol in my room. Uh, what, what kind? Uh, I've got some vodka and some tequila, a little bit of rum. Uh, a touch of vodka might help. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so Del and Akujin right. deal with pain relief in the same way. <laughs> Alcohol. <laughs> yep. Lark will bring her the bottle. <clears throat> Perfect. What rule, what rule do I make for healing? It's medicine and how it is messy. Uh, so you don't necessarily have the same facility okay. um, as Mira does, obviously, because Mira's very nature mm-hmm. allows her to treat, to, to do certain things, but you can you can try I can stop people and, from dying, that's about it. Yeah, you can stop people from dying, obviously. Okay. Um. Yeah. Cool. I poke away at that for a bit, and then, okay, that's it. I don't know why, but just regarding Adele and Akujin, I just have a Venge Sevenfold little piece of heaven playing in the back of my head. <laughs> Weird choice, but okay. It's less weird when you realize that it's about two people murdering each other and coming back as zombies. <laughs> I the book and uh, leave it next to you. It's a bunch of stories of Croon Gracie doing things. There's potatoes and a swamp and 
Squirrels, and Bubbly Jim. And I don't, I think she's someone like us that didn't get out. I'm looking at both at, uh, Adele and uh, Lark. If she's still there, she hung around. Yeah, Lark's still there. Yep. Can I look at the book? Uh huh. Lark will take a glance at the book. I'm I'm gonna, gonna go say hi to Butterfly and then maybe sleep. Bye. Very well. So you guys spend some time, I assume, perusing the the book. And initially, yeah, you find most of the stuff that uh that Liss discovered. Uh, it's it's definitely <clears throat> it's definitely written on especially for you uh adele being a professional writer yourself would probably consider a very basic level of skill <clears throat> this isn't someone who is this is what you this isn't someone who has a firm or a nuanced grasp of narrative from a human perspective but it's it's acceptable <clears throat> as you guys continue are you gonna do i assume you're i don't think either of you really have more to focus on so do you are you going to do a more or less complete read and analysis at this point? Lark will. Okay. <clears throat> uh you you manage to make your way all the way through the book then. There's also a story entitled Queen Gracie Finds the Coggle Frag. Um which is kind of a record of a meandering journey where Hobbes end up getting getting sacrificed in a number of ways to solve a number of problems. Uh, but it's the sort of more or less equivalent of a children's story where Queen Gracie declares that she's going to hunt down the coggle frag. Um, which ni neither of you know what a coggle frag is. Uh, uh, and she does not <laughs> ultimately find it. Uh, but from context, you can fairly clearly interpret that it's one of those mystery beasts. The Jabberwocky. I mean, sort of. Uh, and the, the last uh, part of the book, which has suffered damage due to the fire, um, is notable for the fact that there are a few pages torn out at the end. <clears throat> um, are the pages torn out like part of a story or does it look like they were their own individual story? They were their own individual story because the last page in the book that has any right that is that is left with any interpretable writing on it um says queen gr which you can assume um and then the second line which seems to be the remainder of the rest of the title is builds a f something that starts with a capital f And that's all you've got. Um, 
to Adele, like we'll say, do you think we should show these to someone in charge? I keep forgetting who's in charge of winter. I mean, no one knows who's in charge know. of winter. <laughs> It would be yes is the short answer. Um, <clears throat> that said, not before we have copy uh, a copy of it oh, for ourselves. Yeah, clearly, of course. Um, call it call it a a a, a almost literal lifetime or a, many lifetimes of 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 being hunted but i tend to 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 not trust leaving things in the hands of others anymore um i i completely agree but yes no at the very least we should do our due diligence and do what is um expected of us that way um that would be something we would simply have to get 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 it to them the same way we get messages to them I suppose yeah I mean Mira is a member of Winter so yes yeah um I am much more comfortable handing it off to handing it off to them either it's, it's, it's at least a level of respect for them as opposed to any of the other groups who will almost certainly want it mm -hmm. in the motley. So yes, anyways. How are you, by the way? Uh, in, in what way? Uh, that is a complicated question. Yeah. Um, I know that... I know physically you'll be fine. Yes. I mean, like, emotionally. Still a complicated question. <laughs> I will admit. Um... I'm as good as I suppose I can be in this situation. <clears throat> I am uncomfortable with the level of comfort that I am getting around Akajin. Yeah, I'm trying very hard not to trying very hard not to use that 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 reference that everybody seems to be so annoyed when I use in regard to. Oh, I I don't care. You you can I know call you him whatever you want. I appreciate it. I'm trying to practice for others. Um, yeah, but uh, I I'm I'm not comfortable with the level of comfort I am getting there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm I don't starting know to like him. Yes, like, he, he's. Like yeah. back there with Mr. Green, like he, he earned some respect. Yes. Me. Agreed. It's most infuriating. <laughs> I mean, obviously, like, don't trust him, but. But, but there's a certain level I have learned over the years of reliability in not being able in knowing how little you can trust someone by not trusting them con in, in counterintuitively you learn to trust mm -hmm. um so uh, in fact i think that is the problem with me right now well the, the problem i'm having right now I don't know. I do not trust because not that I'm starting to trust, but 
I am starting to become more at ease. Which makes gotcha. me all the more distrustful. Trust is a weird thing. But it is. In I am oddly more comfortable with packaging than certain members of this group at the moment. Are you talking about Mira? No. Mira, again, I, my level of, I'm comfortable with how much I trust or do not trust Mira right now, which varies, but I know where that stands. I'm talking about Phage. Okay. What, what do you mean exactly? about phage again what i've expressed of this there is a level of discounting there that i am not pleased with and i feel like i have tried to express it that my discomfort by mm -hmm. saying i am then comfortable with the level of discounting that you do regarding me. And then she still does things like back at the car. I'm sorry, as a player, what are you talking about back at the car? Would you like to, are we going to, are we going <laughs> to, uh, Akajin, would you like to go to Adele's place or the crack house? Oh, or somewhere okay. Else? Okay. Sorry. To be fair, that was asked to the group as a whole. I know you're not there. Um, <laughs> but yes. Yeah, I know it was it was to the group as a whole. Interpretation. <laughs> Your character does a lot of that. Everyone's character does a lot of that. Human beings do yeah. a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, I, I don't think she was really thinking about, like, I mean, because I sometimes forget that he's, like, part of the group. It is very possible. It is a pattern, also. I mean, she does seem to trust him. And I would be fine with the trust. No, nah, I would not be fine with the trust. I'm not going to. I'm not going to try and bullshit this. Um, I would be. I would understand where that might come from. Mm -hmm. It is the how to put it. I've spent many, many years questioning my own mind. I don't need people who are supposed to be allies doing it for me. I understand. It is what it is. Thanks. I keep meaning to talk to her. I'm not sure if I should. I, I'm pretty sure she's mad at me, but I'm not really sure why. Why would she be mad at you? I don't know. Maybe it was like the, the night when I was brought back, like there was a different, there was a definite attitude um, from her. And like, she brought me food and stuff, but she wouldn't talk to me at all. She seemed different. Like I didn't speak much because I was like about to pass out. Yes. But I... I'm, I'm pretty sure there's something going on there. And I don't know if it was just the me running off thing or if it's something else. To be one complete, uh, 
I don't want to defend, but we all had a very difficult night that night. It might not have been you. It might have just been the world. Sorry, I'm watching William's face. <laughs> I don't know. That was, I mean, to be fair, that was like, what, 12 hours ago? <laughs> a little longer than that. Was it? Is it, though? I think it's, it's been a couple of days, I believe. No, I, think that was I don't know. You're like, still running on the I'm still sleep, drunk and have. About... I'm still drunk and I'm fucked up from the thing. I think it's been like eight to ten hours. Yeah, it has not so, been because we've definitely got because we definitely went to sleep because I woke. Yeah. I didn't call you guys until the morning. Uh huh. Yeah. So, so yeah. that night we slept. Then everyone got drunk. Well. Then a sizable number of people got drunk. Right. Two. Point five. Um, <laughs> and then we went off and talked to Mr. Green. So it's like maybe early afternoon on the day after that happened. Yeah. Yeah. So like, okay, so like, like, like 16 hours. Yeah. Eight waking hours, though. Yes. Um... It, it it was it was a it was a hard night all around. I I, I will acknowledge yeah. that I was not in any condition to be aware of what was going on, but I think everybody was angry at everything, and I mean it could have been my imagination, but I don't know. Just something seemed off. What I will say, which oddly counteracts what I literally just said is is there's there's one thing that we can trust about our trust and that is our instincts if we can't trust that and we start mm -hmm. questioning that then we're in danger um perhaps another house meeting needs to happen just to us I despise them, but I I know they're like Christmas Demira. Isn't it? Doesn't that just make it worse too? Yes, it does. Like just just the abs. Yes, but I think they are also very. I think also part of the problem is when we have those we don't really actually discuss anything. Uh, that one we had like a long time ago, a lot got discussed. That's true, that is true. But I, I think that's the only one. So yes, perhaps we could actually try to discuss things. I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm, maybe that's not the best idea, but Uh, I mean, yeah. Well, it we will be better than not. It'll it will be better than wondering and suspecting, partic and particularly questioning oneself. Yeah, we probably should, and we should probably bring up Akujin again because I think. It's it's getting more and more likely that he's going to join the Motley at this point. I mean that's uh, that's up to Akajun. We already threw up the offer. Yeah. Which I guess means it's up. To, I don't. You know what? I'm I I'm I'm I, I I have alcohol here, and I would like to. I would like to. Excuse me. <laughs> and scene like there's a lot of feelings going on here and Adele is not down with that it's well, good, before, very good but it is uh, but before we pivot um, 
just for for future reference there are a couple other aspects um that you guys in your perusal of the book did manage to discover okay um which are detailed in the handout that is now in everybody's journals um in the description of the book <clears throat> uh the the title um, of a few of que- or sorry, not the title, the names of a few of Queen Gracie's friends is the main thing. Okay. Um, the only one being named and- being Bubbling Jim. No, the top of the and the fact that these individuals um, are listed there. Um, And that is going to be. Did I say that it was in everybody's handouts already? Yes. I think it yes. Is. Do you need okay. to, Do you need to go check your blood pressure? Your blood sugar, okay. Jack. Um, and that's actually well, yes, John. <laughs> which is why we're going to take a break. All right. <laughs> we'll be back in a bit. If you're watching on Twitch, please stay tuned for these commercial messages.
And we're back. No, I was a reactor. <laughs> I was in security. I saw it all on the monitors. <laughs> well, I was an admin. Um, you just said you were on so, reactor. Anyway, imposter. I like that. That <laughs> how we come back. <laughs> mm. Anyway, so with some downtime on their hands, uh, we're going to pick up with Mira, who has just left the bar and is headed over to, I assume, the crack house? Yeah, wherever the uh, wherever the other half ended up. Um, okay. I'm not crashing, crashing Phage's date. Um, and Phage probably didn't tell you where she was going anyway. <laughs> no, but I did remember that I do have the GPS find people thing turned on because Which Mira Del enabled it for me at one point. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you get to the uh, the crack house. There's a couple lights on. Yeah. Liz's workroom specifically. Um, but you have keys. Go inside. <laughs> Look for more lewd sculptures. Don't find any. No um, lewd sculptures. I'm... A lot of blood, and... though. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I'm seems to go be normal. Looking for Adele. Yep, she's she's findable. <laughs> yep, up in my room. Yeah. Okay. How drunk at this point? Uh, buzzed, buzzed, mm. not drunk. I only gave you one bottle. It's a bottle of vodka, though. I... However, ex... yeah, only one bottle of vodka can get you very drunk. I was however, gonna say, experience... how big a bottle? Of vodka? Yeah, the problem is, however experienced Adele is, she's still uh, SMOL small, right. <laughs> with a strength of one, <laughs> literal lightweight. Yes, no, but besides, she's doing some, some, some uh, probably reading. Mira? Hi. Um, I wanted to update you on some things uh, and take a look at your entries. I know Liz did some bandaging earlier, <coughs> but... I, I feel pretty. like they were. Uh, she's looked since. Um, I I feel like they will probably just have to heal at this point, and I'm comfortable with that. I I I actually kind of like that, but you can certainly take a look. Uh, what updates? Um, as Mira is sort of as she starts out unwrapping, yeah, stuff and you Still know, unwrapper. The bandages, for the bandages need to be rewrapped at some point anyway. Um, this is true. This is true. Mira, give me a wits and composure. Hmm. To notice the shadow sneaking in the back door. <laughs> nope. Oh, shadow I know what in the front this door. is for. I just, yeah. Um, do I get the nine against I get for medical things on this? No, not on this one. Two successes. <clears throat> so uh, Adele is unwrap, starts to unwrap, and then you take over the unwrap of one of the limbs. And as it's finishing, you go to the other one, and it's already unwrapped. Hmm. You had Adele's hand, and Adele could not have just unwrapped her own arm with her yeah. other hand. Adele, you were there watching, so yeah. you know that Walter did it. Mm. Right. Right. Mm. Is Mira smart enough to remember that Adele's ghost friends live in this house as well? <laughs> hmm? That's a little... Oh, never mind. Um... So, and as I'm doing this, I'm trying to use my surgical abilities to fix up whatever I can. Um, oh, okay. So, 
I wanted to, we've talked about Octogen before, and I'm sure the group will talk about him again. I wanted to let you Many know Many discussions that... about Octogen, yes. <laughs> but ultimately, the one who gets the deciding voice is you. So I thought, you get the update. You get an update. Um, like we talked about last time, I'm, we set a strategy for this. I've, we've been getting closer to them, making friends. Uh, I don't want you to feel like I'm betraying you or, or anything else. And, and I want to reiterate that it's your decision. And if you tell me to back off for he's dangerous, this, I'll I believe you. And I believe in your concerns about them. Mm -hmm. That said, between my efforts and phages, we have secured his agreement uh, to move forward with joining the Motley. If, and I know that while that is a course you set in part, it's a difficult question, so I'm not going to press you for an answer right now, but I thought it would be better to bring it up like this than to blindside you. When my literal wounds are at your mercy. Speaking of which, intelligence and medicine. Hmm. <laughs> when faith Age talks about it like it's a done deal. Yes, no, I understand. She's a little bit aggressive. I was, I was trying to be funny, dear. I am not worried about what you, what, what, what you could potentially do at this moment. Um, I literally can't. My time over there, I can't unheal. I guess I could shoot a gun, but I can't. Um, and I guess I need to make another one of those. Yeah, if you wanted to downgrade, it would take as many hours as it takes to get five total successes. Yep. Spending the willpower. Okie doke. Yeah. Fucking hell. Uh, Still plenty of day left. <laughs> Yep, spending another willpower. All right. There you go. Okay, there we go. So one of your lethal is downgraded to bashing, which Yay. then recovers in 15 minutes. Right. Mm. A lot of things have scabbed over already, but should heal faster now, and I will Thank you. keep at it later. Sure. I am sorry I, was... I wasn't able to deal with it immediately. I thought making nice with Summer would help us and this is very skilled herself oh it's quite all right i specifically avoided you because i knew that you not being able to heal me would bother you oh i see <laughs> because um, i was angry at you for deciding to throw a snide little comment at Liz after the after the whole party situation regarding her having made a deal because she probably felt bad enough at, it, at that particular moment and didn't need that thrown in her face at that particular time by somebody that she trusted. Well, trusted as much as she trusts you, which I'm not sure how much that is, but you know, Motley member. Mira just smiles. Regardless, thank you. I appreciate it. In regard to Akajin, I had previously said I am fine with I'm fine with Akajin joining the Motley. That has not changed because I already made that commitment, and frankly, it simply hasn't changed. I would ask when this conversation was had. Was this, this morning, um, before everyone else arrived at the bar. So before I fire blasted him in the face. Yes. 
though. We may want to revisit that question. <laughs> I didn't get the sense it had changed when I was, was helping him fix him up, but that's it's also reasonable. But yes, that my my stance on it has not changed. What well, will be then, will be. I'm willing to see this through. However, we do have another medical concern specifically relating to you that we need to talk about. Oh, this sound. I am excited for how this is going to go, Mira. Please. It's not like I'm going to read you information about the dangers of STIs or anything. Oh, that's good because you would be far too late. Anyway, you're pregnant. Dial me. Shush, GM. I need to be somber and serious. Legit. So, you're still cursed. The concentrated glamour jam hasn't has been preventing it from getting worse or progressing, but that's a finite supply. I was careful of making sure that Mr. Green didn't have any reason not to to work with us in the future or, and if he doesn't hold up his end of the deal on, um, on providing us information about how, how to cure you, that will be a deal broken by him. Mm-hmm. But I would also understand if current circumstances have changed our more general feelings about... Not, well, mis- not think- Mr. Green, but the other one. Oh. The Mr. Other Green is Craig. Plant-based <laughs> Leaf Finger. Leaf Finger. Leaf finger. Fucker. <laughs> or that we had an argument with. Um, yeah, it's leaf finger. Sorry. Yeah, rolling that back a bit. Leaf finger. Um, mm-hmm. I feel like our Motley's motto is just fuck plants at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's like in D&D, we have a lot of fuck wizards in Grand Terra. Um, this there are also wizards. there are also an amount of fuck wizards. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying real hard not to say it. Okay. Anyways, so um, I don't know if there's something specific you wanted to do, or a specific avenue you wanted me to pursue for that. There's things I can look into, but they would be pricey and we're not exactly in a flush with favors or is in cash position right now at the group. This is the delight of our nature and our politics in the way that we are. As you said, if Leafinger does not follow through bad things will happen with someone like leafinger to do and deliver the research yes and that has not been done yet we will figure it out from there i feel Because frankly, we don't know what the answer is going to be until we, we we don't know we won't know what our options are until then. Unless I'm under unless I'm misunderstanding my slow inevitable decline into. Misery and and not the usual slow inevitable decline. Anyways, okay, yeah, it will be fine. Once 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 we get that information, we will see what we can do from there. I would not recommend using Leaf Finger as 
the next step of the situation. That's what I'm a little bit worried about. There was no timeline on when he delivers that research, though there is general intent that means he has to go, he probably has to continue the process. Um, Presumably, the, 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 the process is before I am dead. That said, we only negotiate, yes, but we only at that point negotiated for one jar of the thing. And while I don't think he wants to kill you, he, and to be fair, he did not use your health to push us into a position with contracts. All of the yeah. things he asked for in exchange for your health were incredibly reasonable and used in a straightforward manner. You're not wrong. Bully for him. You're mad at me. I'm mad. I'm at not you. mad at you. I'm. I, I am past being mad at you. Otherwise, oh, I would not. Great. Otherwise, I would not have informed you of that. I would have continued <coughs> to hold that over you, and found another reason for you not to examine my wounds. I am not over being mad at Lee Finger. Because, frankly, bleeding all over his closet was not enough. I mean, it would have been enough, but then I might have, you know, it would have been difficult for me to go down the stairs. Other than falling. But yes. That is, we'll, we'll, we, will, we will cross that bridge when we come to it. It is frankly the least of our problems, but still a problem right now. Yes, especially because he does seem to be taking a hostile coup over next season. Exactly. I'm mad at Phage, but I'm also kind of wondering how how much work we'd have to put into position in her as a spoiler candidate for whatever right Spring uses to elect their, their leader and keep Leaf Finger out of a job. Okay, I'm curious. Why are you mad at Phage? Because this is an ongoing trend that I'm seeing as of late. Liss is Liss, and I don't believe she doesn't understand what she's doing. But she is also going to be Liss about the things she is doing. Okay. These are I might this not is be the I smartest member of my court, but it's offensive to me. He's, he's, at Phage thinks that Null Edge and the things that Liss generally asks of others are super innocent. And, uh, and that anyone and who, who plays is those gay games isn't in playing fit. You're talking about the agreement? That and more generally. As much as I am Phage's friend and I want to support her and I support her agency and decisions when it comes to empowering her own life and, and even showing others the benefits of living the way she lives, she can be dismissive of the value others put on things. Liz is very aware that knowledge of how to um how to grow magical plants is a genuinely valuable thing and mm -hmm. it's a complex art she he made a deal for it not because it's something of value I would assume that the same is true for her previous deal she didn't tell us about. Mm 
And I'm not mad at Liz for these things, but yeah. Paige can be frustrating. I'm curious why you're not mad at Liz about these things. I mean, Liz will be Liz, but that's still Liz being infuriated. I think it's charming. Um, but it's not charming when other people you are a confusing person. <laughs> I've been told that before. Um, to put it another it's way. It's true. Liz. The things that Liz gets out of her deals may or may not be worth it, but she's making them and getting things <laughs> from them in a way that she has arranged. And I won't pretend I'm happy with the latest outcome, but fair play is fair play. It's a deal that Liz made, and it's mm -hmm. a deal that all of us stood there and let her make. You are correct, including me, including Lark. So why just fade? You do realize that technically we don't have a leader, correct? Oh, that wasn't why. Um, Phage seems to. Well, I don't blame Liss. Liss is not innocent. This is not someone, a naive who, who made a trade for nothing. Liz is, is a skilled arcane in practitioner or who, who made a deal for dark knowledge. As much as she might also be a klutz, that's a nincompoop and never allowed to drive a car. Adele, give me a wits and empathy here. Okay, okay, okay. There's one. It it's a little roundabout, which for winter does make sense. Right. You're getting the idea that Mira is trying to, and correct me if I'm wrong, Aaron, Mira is trying to not to come out and say Phage's reaction to Leaf Finger's exploitation of the deal he made with Liss was presented in a way that infantilized Liss's role in it. Yeah, that's basically right. In Infantilized ah. both Liss's role and the things that Liss acquired. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fair. Fair. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. Phage, Phage's perspective of taking advantage of Liss was underhanded and below the belt. Right. Kind of implicitly says, kind of implicitly devalues Liss's capabilities by saying fair. she's too weak to be able to to do yeah. her own no, thing, you shouldn't have done that. Pretty much exactly, yes. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. You might also get enough, some vague sense that Mira, beyond not wanting to come out and say it, can't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny, I had just been having a, 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 a talk with someone and saying that perhaps we should have, do not get excited over this. And I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> I will throw you down the stairs. Please don't. My excitement levels are minimized. Frowns emphatically. A house meeting. <laughs> you remember how the last one went, right? 
Yes, because... Yes, I do. It was very loud and yelly, and everybody walked away unsatisfied. But at least some people walked away from that conversation with a somewhat better understanding of everyone. Yeah. Okay. I'm in favor of this. I'm not excited about it. I promise. Don't throw me anywhere. Let to me be know. fair, I can't throw you. I would push you. Okay. Please don't do that either. Healing my own bones is more difficult. Fair enough. But yes, we. Sh I, I think that this would be at some point a good idea. Okay. Especially if Akajin is potentially, I feel like we should have a minimum level of people secretly angry at each other before we bring the decades long serial killer into the crew. That is reasonable. And very well. If it was stressful, I'm sorry about going off alone to his hideout. It was surprisingly not. Um, no, that was fine. That said, and she picks up her, she picks up the bottle is like, I have reading to do, so please leave. Vera continues working on your stitches because that's going to take three hours. Um, <laughs> but, but you do yeah. downgrade one to bashing and heal that. Uh, meanwhile, the topic of said conversation is in a different room with Butterfly. Yep. There were three topics of that conversation. You can there were many. This is yeah, this but we know which one we're talking about. all the topics of conversation. I don't know. Butterfly may have wandered into Akujin or Phage's vicinity when we weren't looking. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Uh, yeah. But no. Butterfly is uh, currently hanging out in Lish's workshop room. Akujin, or uh, Butterfly could have wandered into Capitol Records building in Los Angeles by now, <laughs> and we probably wouldn't have noticed it. Eventually would have noticed. It, it takes a while. Put the plant in the bag on the table in between us. Sit down. Which is now inert, but a growing uh -huh. living plant. Butterfly just kind of taps it. Flowers. Uh -huh. <coughs> I'm gonna make sure that my hands are not gonna get effed up. Uh, whatever. Just bandage those. Uh, and while I'm doing that, uh, the motley got stolen, <coughs> or not the motley. The the the. Commons? Commons. There we go. That's the word. Commons got stolen. Where did it go? It's still there. Someone else has it, though. Like How? A deal. Anyway. Deals aren't stealing. No. Felt like stealing. Yeah. That's what this one thinks, and she points at the flower. Hmm. Yeah. They have different thoughts. I pointed at another flower on the plant. That one's asleep. Mm. I want to be asleep. Okay. She gets up, walks out of the room. Hmm. I'm going to get up, grab a baseball bat, and just thwack her over the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Five seconds later. After, <laughs> after, about ten, after about five, ten minutes, she comes back with a cup of tea. Hmm. Here. 
specialty I knockout was talking brawl. myself that entire time. This is basically like going over the <laughs> offense of what happened. Just like it was. And then I don't know if I messed up and uh, sort of like on that sort of vein. But then, ooh, tea. <laughs> You probably didn't mess up. You probably did your best. That's what Phage does. Her best? Mm-hmm. Make me a resolve and stamina minus four. <laughs> sure. Nope. You don't notice until you're standing there, but somehow your workshop has transitioned into just a rolling open field. Trees in the distance. Everything covered with snow. Ooh. You're stand you're you're still in your same clothes that you were in a bit ago. You don't mm. feel cold. I don't think she actually even took the like winter clothes off at that point. Okay. So yeah. A little bit of breeze in your hair. Hmm. There's a pff in the snow near you and butterfly stands up. Mm -hmm having just emerged from underneath the snow. Okay, so this is going to be a lot easier because you know I'm better here than I am. Mm -hmm. So the commons is gone because yeah. deals were made. Were the rules followed? Mostly. I didn't want to. Well... Maybe. Rules generally don't care about who wants. They care about what the rules are. I want. What do you want? To have a crown. For autumn? Maybe. someday okay and what would you do with it or do you just want it find out what letters mean find out all we can about mm -hmm. how everything started and make all the other seasons stronger To what end? This place needs to grow. All right. Leafinger took a sapling. And he might kill it. Okay. Why would somebody kill a sapling? Do you think something else should grow there? I don't know. Okay. All right. Have you asked him? No. I haven't gone back. I still have two, three lessons. They All right. You, like one or two, right? I think I had three total. I, I was going to say, you had three total and you'd already had two, so you have one okay. left. I have one left. One left. <clears throat> Does he seem to be the type to waste a resource? No, but I don't know. 
I don't know. I haven't looked him that, at him that much. So you're afraid? Mm-hmm. If you want that crown, you're going to have to master that. That's what your court does. Yeah. And you don't master something by avoiding it, right? No. You know I don't have one. A court. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Do you want one? No. It's good for some people. It's good for people to have something they can focus on, something they can hold on to, something to direct them. I need everything. So I can't pick. You have me. Yes, I do. That goes both ways. Yes. Thank you. She leans over, kisses you on the cheek. A little better? Mm hmm It's really strong. You're going to be here for a while. <laughs> it was good. I didn't even taste it. And she kind of reaches down into the snow and scrapes her hand through it and the the particulate snowflakes form and there's a table that springs up chairs and what's the smooth surface of the table kind of ripples slightly and turns into a backgammon set <laughs> Show me what happened. And she sits down. I start to play. <laughs> All right. Phage. <clears throat> you pick a restaurant. <laughs> yep. Some place that serves food in volume. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> you guys meet, grab a table, server takes your order. And the food begins to roll in. What happened? In which regard, it's been a couple of days. Well, it was a crazy night. And then you guys got up the next day and headed out. <laughs> Yeah, we had to go take a look around the border of the region for more bad things deciding to try and make their way in. Did you find it? We found where they we found one of the ways they were getting in. And we found maybe some information that'll help. Good. Still pretty in the dark though. Who stands to benefit? From what, the invasion? I mean, basic politics. Hmm? It's Queen Gracie, apparently. And... Fuck, God damn it! I was... I was feeling good this morning, now I'm getting back to being pissed. <laughs> Sometimes underrated being pissed. Hmm. Yeah. 
Angry gets shit done. Yeah, yeah, it does. I just... I'm sick of people using people. Mm -hmm. Because no matter how good someone is, no matter how much they know what they're doing with their shit, if their mind's not on what you're trying to use them for, it's so fucking easy. And that is so fucking shite. Liz's mind wasn't on politics when she made the deal that ended up with our situation. All right. And it shouldn't be. Liz is focusing on what she's focusing on. She's good at it. She's brilliant at it. Mm hmm I'm so sick of everyone turning everything into a power grab. That's what I came here to run away from. Greed didn't originate where you started, love. Hmm. No. No, it didn't. I just... I was hoping people could at least try and do better. After having been exposed to it for so long. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants us, to relive trauma, no. Each of us had it differently for uh, for a different amount of time, but I don't think I can name one of us that enjoyed what happened to us. So why the fuck are we going back to doing it to other people? Mm-hmm. Can I play the accuser for a minute? Go on. Stop me if you start getting mad, because that's not what I'm here for. All right. All right? Do you know what radical acceptance is? Explain it to me. Trauma and... loss and things that we don't want by this philosophy are a fact of existence. Living creatures have a limited amount of resources to spend, especially from an emotional, sociological level. Um, you can burn through those resources by being upset at things you can't control. You cannot control what Leaf Finger wants or what tools he employs to get it. Therefore, being angry at that is fundamentally wasted resources. It's a very pragmatic philosophy and not one that I don't necessarily entirely agree with all the time but the more time you spend being angry at the things that you can't control the less fuel you have to address the things that you can control anger is good motivation for things that you can actually affect. Radical acceptance in your situation would be refusing to waste anger and emotional energy on the fact that the commons is gone, because at this point, that is currently a fact. Now, if you can affect what happens to it next, that is a better use of your emotions. The past is the past, and the pain that we suffer in it is part, it does become part of who we are. 
but when we we move forward you know we pursue what we want we don't founder or drown in what we've lost what's your major I'm, again political science <laughs> okay <laughs> I mean, you're right. You're absolutely right. Being angry at what's already happened isn't going to get anything done. Doesn't change that I'm fucking pissed at him, but... You asked me who'd benefit from it. Mm. Aside from the person instigating the invasion, <clears throat> the person who's going to pick up the mess that Winter left behind. And considering Springs the next season, Lee Finger set himself up to be that person. If he can make that happen. When there's a tragedy going on, the person in the greatest position of advantage is the person who is at that moment poised to respond to it. If they pull themselves together and do well and handle the crisis especially if they do it in some sort of visible sense the next time people have to make a judgment on them that is going to be fresh in their mind and that's what they're going to remember yeah but if they handle it poorly the opposite happens if they handle it poorly then whoever comes after them gets that chance that they failed with. And Winter's the Invisible Court. Winter's the Invisible Court. They don't... So they don't do things in the open from what you've told me. No. So if they're handling that, they're doing it behind the scenes. Now, in very basic theory, you would want to fix this in the open. If Winter is not going to step up and do that, either spring comes around and if the crisis is still going on, they do it in the open, or you and your friends take advantage of the fact that Winter's not doing something in the open and you do the in the open work and you reap the benefits. If you can, once again, focus on what you can control, not on things that are happening outside your control. Well, I'm certainly going to do everything we fucking can because I'm so sick and tired of this. Well, I'm an intern at City Hall, so if I can help, let me know. <laughs> you legitimately might be able to, I'm not going to lie. Do you know anything about any of the... I don't know how well individual cities communicate with their neighbors. I mean... Yes, to an extent. It's political, like all things, and so everybody is trying to scrape as much together for themselves as they possibly can. I'm not going to say there's... We are a large city trapped in between larger cities. You heard of the Baltimore problem? No. The Baltimore problem is when you look at a map of the United States and... Despite the fact that we are significantly larger than many other cities throughout the country, smaller, less impactful cities show up on the map because we are sandwiched in between Philadelphia and Washington, D.C., and so they take primacy. Mm. Baltimore gets left off maps a lot. We're big, but we're sandwiched. D.C.'s in the way, yeah. Right, the capital. Uh -huh. Philadelphia, of course, larger. 
a little ways up the river, New York, even larger. So it's easy for us to get overlooked. Baltimore is scrambling right now. And the power structures that exist in cities around us do vacuum up a great deal of resources. Um, we've, we are the biggest city in our state, so we do get a lot of pull on that side of things, but on the national level, not as easy. Mm -hmm. Have I told you anything about, I don't honestly don't remember, have I told you anything about the person running this invasion? Mm -mm. I know you haven't. Mm -hmm. Her name's Queen Gracie Arundel, as in Arundel County. Mm -hmm. And from what we've managed to dig up, a Gracie Arundel is a missing person from the Arundel family. How long ago? Do I remember, what was the what was the timestamp on that? About five, five years. years. Mm -hmm. Five years now. You did say time moves differently. So Weirdly, she could in be the edge. Any, yeah. any, any age, anywhere, right? Well, what does she think she's queen of? It's a real good, it's a real damn good question. <laughs> but at the very least, an army of hobgoblins. All right. Well, I'm a little rusty on my monarchical political theory, but... If I can figure out anything as far as what makes a queen run or tick, assuming they even follow basic principles, I don't know. Yeah. So any help you can give, you know I always appreciate. Of course. And honestly, thank you for the pep talk i really needed that i, I hope it wasn't else. preachy no 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 you at least gave me something to focus on because i've got so many things that are pissing me off and dragging me down right now i need something to push myself forward to and the loss of something is painful, but it also gives you an opportunity. I absolutely understand if what you want is the commons back. I know there's, what, I know there's other things I can shoot for, yeah. There's other things you can shoot for, and there's very little self-disinterest in this world, but having capable people in charge of things for the overall benefit is generally good, even if they're shit people, personally. Don't necessarily just make getting the commons back from Lee Finger your first priority if having him there actually could benefit you. Look at both sides before you make your move. Mm -hmm. I still want to bloody his nose for it. Well, certainly. But do you want to do that physically, or do you want to do it by leapfrogging him in his pursuit of power? Oh, I want to. I want to make a fucking statement. All right. For some people, I'm just saying it's more humiliating if they have to work for you than oh, if yes. you curb stomp them. I'm I'm following you on that. All right. Just theories. And as much as so many people are only looking out for themselves, I think a lot of people, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think a lot of people like someone being in charge who they think is going to help them. Oh, very much so. Even, even, even to their own detriment at times. If you can make people believe you'll help them, even if you're not going to, that's how you get reality television stars in the White House. <laughs> mm. 
But, Viewers, this is set in 2018. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought you did that by taking the, the this whistle that only certain animals could hear and blowing <laughs> it as hard as you can for like four years. <laughs> but cause... Remember, everybody, keep politics out of your gaming. Fuck that, boy! <laughs> <laughs> but legitimately i do want to help everyone and i think that might be something that people will appreciate all right figure out the rules of the game make sure people know that they can see in you what they want And then we get more dinners like this one. <laughs> <laughs> Always looking forward to it. Faye says she stacks like her 10th plate up. <laughs> right. <I> just, <laughs> chunk. Mm. But the rest of the, the meal passes with slightly less impetus of conversation, but you guys definitely fulfill any sort of... Uh, favor or or task resulting for your, from your guys uh from your guys ensorcelment pledge i mean the ensorcelment pledge was basically meals for study sessions right exactly <laughs> but this definitely qualifies for for those requirements so you good there i will actually one last thing yeah how's the extra boost helping your studies because i didn't give her an extra dot of an extra dot well of i don't think i don't think i don't, many, I don't, I don't, know, I don't, I don't know if that's visibly i don't know if that's like something you recognize there's they're not going to be putting me up for valedictorian but my gpa has definitely climbed by a good half to three quarters of a point so hey. it's working I, I don't know whatever if this is. I don't know if that's something that people can like visibly sense, and I don't know what it feels like to to be quite frank, someone who isn't a changeling. I don't have to put in quite as much work to get the results that I need. Mm -hmm. And when I do put in the work, things things are clearer, they click better there. Yes, it's. It's objectively helpful. Thanks. Maybe not maybe not clearly quantifiable in all situations and circumstances, but it's there are perks to dating you, my love. Mm -hmm. When your girlfriend knows actual magic. <laughs> right? <laughs> Who would have thought? And yeah, that's that's as far as I need to go in the scene. Okay. Sounds good. So we have a couple days. If your character has something that they need to do that doesn't require actually acting it out, let me know. Continuing to fix all the people with serious levels of lethal damage. Okay. That does not yep. need to be acted out, but it is happening. All right. Mara. <laughs> Uh, working on the gift for Phage, uh, it is okay. a set of wind chimes. All right. Uh, Aaron, you, the, your thing for Mira will literally just take time yeah. given, so we you won't have I to make any rolls days. for that. Yeah, you have a few days. You'll be able to get everybody back up and running. Um, for Liz, go ahead and give me a dexterity and crafts. Yep. Um, and she was doing that. That was the one, uh, cause it's been a little while, uh, with the, um, uh, to do, do, what's it called again? Um, the one that affects your dreams. Ah. Uh, dreams yeah. are you trying to are you trying to put a dream into this thing or no um this is the that's dreamscaping where is this um 
Ooh. No, wait, it was dream weaving. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's dream weaving. Uh, I think I was trying to create like a pretty high intensity dream of. Uh, let's see. That would provide uh, stress relief. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me the dexterity and crafts first, cool. then. Yep. But I mean, at this point, it might be better to just do the healing sleep one because we keep getting injured. <laughs> but <laughs> by getting everybody up and running, it. what is the how are all of us basically healed of our wounds? After a couple yeah. of days of well, your care. bashing should be, yeah. Hopefully. I just had one lethal. I'm assuming that's gone. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, no. Naturally, you would heal one lethal every two days. Okay. Assuming, assuming you didn't do anything extreme. You know, you're not out, you know, mountain climbing in the middle of winter or something. Uh, with two successes, you're able to knock together a reasonably serviceable set of of wind chimes that evening. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, and then, uh, you will need to, how much glamour do you have? I don't have any, so I, I guess I gotta go out and get glamour I was gonna first. say, you would need to go get glamour before, okay. yep. um, I'm getting the basics, and then, uh, if I have time, go get glamour. Okay. That's the um, thing I need to do, by the way, is harvest glamour. Okay. Yeah. Everybody can make a harvest glamour roll, uh, for, for this period of what would time I, what would i be rolling to rolled it, is that in this case uh well what that will depend on what you want to do so we'll start with akujin and go around the room uh i will harvest glamour i will i will harvest admiration from my uh from my uh uh from my uh um your gang my gang by 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 showing off my battle wounds but not explaining where i got them from Give me a presence and expression roll. Uh, would this add my harvest dice to it? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Three successes. You've got three glamour. <laughs> they are suitably impressed by whatever thrashing you took with the implicit assumption that... You walked away from it, so somebody else probably got it worse. <laughs> Actively not true, but still. <laughs> Actively not true, but that doesn't matter. Um, also, that's so, not so yeah, nope. uh, just, mm -hmm. and just to, to get a clear answer, because it wasn't actually answered, by mm -hmm. get everyone back to working, does that mean my lethal are gone or just yes. reduced? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, it, with, yeah with, with a few days' work, uh, Mira will be able to get to everything. your lethal are gone. Yes. Oh no, mm -hmm. Akujin's yep. perfectly happy to have his wounds right. looked at. Is Mira going for glamour anywhere? Hmm? Yeah, I have a part-time job as a yoga instructor, and right. I want some jealous bitch glamour. And <laughs> all right, <laughs> I love that description of jealous bitch glamour. Yeah. Jealous or bitch, glamour. bitch glamour. Either works. It's a good one. Right, it's a good one. Uh, give me a manipulation and. Expression. I don't have nine again. Not on this one, no. No, I, I know that. One. Okay. The It's cold. Not a huge number of people there. Everybody's doing that thing in the winter where they decide to slack off their exercise after the new year. Apparently that, that resolution has not set in for the majority of the Baltimore population, but you do pick up one glamour during the uh, the next couple of days. Uh, it wasn't that low. No worries. Lark. Uh, Lark is going to spend the next couple of days uh, trying to work on her musical career and okay. get some more auditions. Gotcha. So can I get any glamour off of that? Yes, you can. Uh, that would be a presence and expression. That 
That's why I'm four. So All right. Yep. In this house. So you you pull four glamour off of a number of competitive auditions that you pursue over the next couple of days. Um, basically, you call your agent, you say book me for everything, and you go to everything, <laughs> and yeah, it pays off. Uh, Liss. <laughs> Uh, is going to do her thing of staying in a hostel. Okay. Well, and creep, creeping, creeping, creeping some people out in dreams? Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Did you say staying in a hostel? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I'm just saying, I've been watching a lot of. I know. <laughs> yep. And I like that Liss is. You do just... you. <laughs> I, I like that Liss is just a goblin. Yeah. So like, here's the thing, Jeremy. Liss is the horror monster. Yes, but it's not the horror monsters you have to worry about in the hostels. It's the humans. <laughs> uh, but let's start with the hostel a before. Wasn't that bad? Manipulation and empathy. Do you have any harvest dots? You can use yes. those because uh-huh. yours are for dreams, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, empathy. And you did can I not use willpower on this. You do not exist within the world sure. of darkness. Cool. Which is a lot closer to an Eli Roth film than our work. It's pretty damn close. Yep. Mm -hmm. Six successes. Granted, we're also not in... Does that put you over your max? Uh, I don't believe so. I didn't have any glamour. Oh, okay. Yep. No, you'd be good there then. All right. You uh, spend a couple nights crouched on the floor of a dark bunk room yep. with your finger on somebody's temple <laughs> just fucking ruining lives <laughs> and you drink deep of terror okay there's a couple times where somebody literally panic wakes up and you have to slide around the other side of the bunk and make yourself hidden but yep. fucking nobody catches you and <laughs> you craft you craft some <laughs> fucking nightmares. Uh, Phage, are you going for anything? To never sleep. Yes. <laughs> right. I'm, go- I'm, I'm going for the usual pub crawl, making people have fun glamour. <laughs> All right. Manipulation and persuasion. It was subterfuge, usually. Or subterfuge, it's, yes. It's mm-hmm. yep, 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 yep. I'd take persuasion because I have more dots in that, but it's usually subterfuge. I'll let you roll whichever one you want. Mm. I mean, I have the temptation, especially in subterfuge. So right. She so, yeah. out the same. Okay. Mm. Uh, I will spend a willpower on this. All righty. And I'll take my harvest dots as well. Indeed. Three successes. On 12 dice. Ouch. I know. (laughs) But, yes, you're able to find a number of people to... Oh, shit. I missed one. Hang on. One more D10. I missed my specialization die. Okay. Yep. All right. You find a number of people to nudge toward excess. Um... And in the aftermath of the holidays, that's honestly not too difficult um, with the seasonal depression starting to set in for a large number of people in Baltimore. I'll alleviate and... that depression for some people if you, for, right. for a bit. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, but yeah, so you pull three glamour off of the pub-going public. Uh, is Adele going to grab any glamour or is she good? Uh, no, she is most definitely not good. Okay. Um, well, she's not awful, but um, I mean, she's just gonna she, she's she she's gonna be dull. She's gonna be herself, and you know, frighten children at funerals and shit like that. Sure. Mm-hmm. You find a couple churches in yep. the area that. Yep. You know, because very little in the way of burials happening right now because everything's fucking frozen. Um, yeah. but, but, but that's true. But people still go out to visit those graves. Yep. Mm-hmm. But you can lurk on the occasional graveyard or yep. attend or crash the occasional act, active funeral. Yep. Uh, go ahead and give me a presence and intimidation. Okay. Uh... Ah, this is worth this is worth the whips. Did you just call it the whips. The whips. I did. Spend Jeremy your whips. over here doing whippets. <laughs> uh but yeah. 
you find a couple yep. of choice opportunities cool. to make small children almost shit their pants. Um, Only almost. They were like nine years old. Mm-hmm. Uh, fair. They're starting to develop that bladder control. Uh, but you get two glamour off that. Excellent. Cool. Um, so Liz, having harvested some glamour, you now have enough that you can invest yes. in this whole thing. Uh-huh. So you spend a point of glamour. Okay. And then you have time for your first investment for the dream right. creation. Because you had to spend the first two days harvesting the glamour. Yep. Now you've got it. Uh, so that is intelligence plus empathy plus weird. Intelligence. Empathy. And weird. Three. Two successes. All right. So you manage on your first day to craft the equivalent of an intensity two dream. On the following day, you will be able to pick up and increase if you want to try and do more. Yeah. You can. Uh, if you want to try and increase that, but yeah, she would. Or you can stop there. Okay, no problem. Um, in that case, that will be basically the only thing you can do for the day. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of time, and a lot of lot of uh, energy. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can make that roll one more time. Okay. Yeah, she is not ready to go back to leaf figures place yet so the, yeah she's okay. gonna do this instead all right uh, one success all right so now it's up to intensity three okay. you're gonna stop there or you're gonna keep going hmm? um goodness uh it goes against the like five is pretty high intensity isn't it i'm gonna keep yeah. going okay I want this to be. You can make one more then. Okay. And this will be your limit. <laughs> cool. Three. You know what? Let's spend that last willpower. Why not? All right. Ten successes. Intensity Six. 13. Six. Yeah, it might blow up four. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Intensity <laughs> seven dream. Okay. That's good. I feel good about that. Good. Oh, okay. You and I have very different definitions of the word good. <laughs> Dave, you're not getting some weed. You're getting like a very, very strong psychedelic. <laughs> Apparently. I mean, you don't have to use it. This is just for you. I mean, we're, you, we're making you... a stress relief dream, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. It's a good thing it's not a nightmare dream. It might actually kill someone. <laughs> All I can think of is like the 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 Dennis Leary routine about NyQuil. He's like, oh, this tastes like, bam, you're in the coma. <laughs> so with seven successes, an intensity seven dream, whoever uses this to dream upon waking the next day will refill their entire willpower bar. Nice. <laughs> Assuming they wake. Assuming they they yes. wake and don't get completely lost in a dream that is possibly more realistic than actual reality. Intensity <laughs> fucking seven. <laughs> Jesus fucking I Christ. I also feel like it's a Worth it. very aggressive way to relax someone. Oh, yeah. This is yeah. an incredibly powerful dream. Now be relaxed. Well, no, just, it, like it's super realistic. So it's like you know you're at a mas- you're at the best massage parlor slash orgy in, in in existence. Like that doesn't sound stress relieving to me. Oh, it sounds real stress relieving to me. <laughs> Both of those things sound exceptionally stressful. That would actually probably be very stress relieving for Paige. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Free no, this court, is- yo. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No. This is this. When if age if age takes this, this is basically going to be here. Here's eight hours of ketamine therapy. Knock yourself out. <laughs> Literally. Yep. <clears throat> but you manage to invest a significant amount of stress yep. relief into these wind chimes. So I will uh go over to Phage 
It's got, it's, so it's, it's like pottery class when you are in middle school and you've got, it's a bunch, it's, it's a bunch of the china that was in Adele's uh, basement because that's what she had originally started working on and it has changed significantly since the last time you saw it. She's basically broken it up into pieces. Sorry, Adele. I didn't ask. Permission. No, you did not. No, I did not. Uh, <laughs> oh, let me make some notes for when she <laughs> finds this out. Drilled some holes in that, made like sort of a wind chime kind of thing. It's very odd looking, um, but it's uh, and it's got like little flower patterns on it because that's what I imagine Adele's china in the basement looks like. It's not the stuff she ever uses or ever wants to use, but that's what it looks like. And uh, she hands it very carefully over to you. It's a wind chime. <laughs> Be careful, this shit's very loaded. Very <laughs> strong. It'll make you have a good dream. It's a really good one. All right. Isabel takes it and looks at it. You don't have to use it. Give give, give me a wits and uh, fuck it. I'll say empathy on this one. Wits and empathy. All right. Yeah. Good thing empathy is my best shit. It's it's fucking page. Of course, empathy is her best shit. Yeah. No, you got to know people before you mm-hmm. push. I got people. no successes though. <laughs> <laughs> Just because it's I your mean, best shit doesn't okay. mean you're always yeah. good. <laughs> you'll trust her this thing if you consider the trajectory of a parabola mm-hmm. where at the apex is kitsch and like part way down from the apex <laughs> is camp this thing loops around like three times <laughs> yeah it's like I try to make if, so, if somebody if somebody stars. tried to tried to <laughs> Cook down and distill the essence of a goodwill. <laughs> this is what you get. <laughs> but I think, ironically, like, despite the aesthetic, I think what Phage reads off of that is the genuine intent from. Oh yeah, from, there's from there's this. genuine oh, yeah. intent behind this thing yeah, for sure. Uh huh. Yeah, so, serial killers bed. also have genuine intent. Sleep. <laughs> Phage kind of looks at it for a minute and just kind of very carefully examines all the details that that list has put into it like very much with the sort of like i am taking in everything on this and very much sort of like looks at it for a minute this is beautiful list by the way thanks thank you you're welcome should i be saving this good dream for a rainy day <laughs> mm-hmm. okay I'll, I'll avoid actually using it until I really think I need it. Thank you. You're welcome. She smiles and sort of carries it up to... I feel like she honestly sleeps in the hollow, so... I'm going to... Uh go get my last lesson from Leafinger soon. Do you want anyone to go with you? Mm, no. All right. It's okay. Yeah. No, that's okay. Did you... Any particular reason you wanted to tell me or just to let me know? Yes. To both. And, and I don't know, I'm figuring out what mm. how things connect. Go for it. The the don't I, I there's not enough room in my room to do the it needs the bigger hall, but I mean, see the if you want to take some of the hall between your room and my room and the real space. Okay. That's definitely happening. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think she will hang this wind chime in her room in the real space, though. Cool. He's 
taking over stuff. I don't know. Is, does we need to solve the first it? problem. We need to talk about the 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 the, the book. All right. Uh, Get everyone I, together. I don't know what's in that book. What'd you find? <gasps> it's a bunch of stories. You'd like it, I think. You told that cool story in the hedge. I heard some of it above the screaming and the fire and the yelling and <laughs> fragments. Um, but I think it means that she's like one of us, but still there. And I don't know. Mm. I didn't finish it. I left it with uh, Adele and Lark. Okay. But we should all get together. I'll go get them. Okay. Liz, you step out of the room and mm -hmm. your phone vibrates. Oh, that briefly distracts me. I have to look at that. There's a text from Akuji. Okay. okay. Been a few days. Library? Question mark. Oh. Yes. Period. I go and send that, go and find the rest of people and say we need to talk that we need to talk about the the book and what's happening. Akajin wants to go to the library. I don't say that to Adele, but I say that to everyone else I talk to. I'm very confused. Are you going around individually to people? Yes. Are you yeah, I think so. I'm not sending a text. That's I that was told we would all need to meet up at some point. Mm -hmm. I'm curious what's in that book. It's strange. Okay, um, maybe those two thoughts should remain separate. Going to the library is a thing, and that book is a thing. But the library will connect to the, the, the book. You can find library out is connected to the concept of books overall. Maybe not this specific book, perhaps. Akujin is here because the of Gracie though and the book, so it it can't not connect. <laughs> okay. I'm, I am actually following Liss's logic here, <laughs> like me, the player. That makes one of us. <laughs> I'm following the logic. It's not accurate, but I'm following the logic. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good logic, but it's yeah. there. <laughs> it's a logic. As long as those things being a pattern doesn't mean giving that book to your friend's library. No, we give a copy. Um, Maybe. well, I guess we're gonna have a family meeting. Uh huh. That's what I'm seeing. Cut so I'm going to gonna go get everyone else. Cut to Adele at a Kinko's, like making 17,000 copies of this <laughs> book. Because apparently everybody gets a copy. <laughs> it's going to be mass marketed at Barnes and Nobles nationwide. This seems like the exact put that way shit on that Kindle, a psychic man. invasion by an extra planar force happens. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it does. <laughs> the Wit and Wisdom of Queen Gracie, a collection of children's stories. <laughs> No, that's a real <laughs> bad idea. All of a sudden, you got hobgoblin invasions popping up in London and Chicago and Tokyo. Oh boy. <clears throat> Road trip. <laughs> so, yeah, what do you do let's, first? Let's, let's... let's basically goes around and lets everyone know that, hey, we should have a meeting. Um, maybe uh, when? Actually, that's texted to everyone. When? Question mark? Meeting? After she's physically gone around to people and told people we should yes. have a meeting, yes. then she texts everyone to say, yeah, when should this meeting not... be? <laughs> when it's meeting? not linear. Mira, in the middle of cooking a vast amount of food for the meeting, I thought we were having it now? <laughs> <laughs> There is you a text said it from... with the air of someone who was telling me to come downstairs for something that was about to happen. There, there is an immediate text to the to thing that is all all, all caps. It says, 
Who decided it was now? <laughs> Liz. Liz, why did you decide it was now? Because it needs to happen. I love right that now. You... I love that. I love that for okay. some reason possession being nine tenths of the law somehow applies to your guys' scheduling too. Right? <laughs> okay. Um. Right. I'll go see. I'll go. I'll go to the one. library with Akrogen now. Later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's your problem now. Bye. <laughs> just ca- just uh, no punctuation, no capitalization, just W A T. Send. <laughs> I am Why? turning off the stove and running out because Liz doesn't have transportation. <laughs> and that's going to drive. Oh my God, good. she's going to run to I'm the library. No. Are you going to die to you drive? Now? Hotwire my car. I am. There's no good answer here. I am. Give me a in. dexterity and larceny, Liz. Okay. Here we go. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> as we see Liz's in, as we see Liz's entry into the motorcycle I didn't actually the take the drive again. out of drive yet. I figured I haven't actually driven at all, so I figured <laughs> I should save it. I like right because there's, there's a text about more well, perhaps. Well, if we're having it now, I'll go down into the basement and get the good shine. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> so while these texts are flying back and forth, Liz, you just walk into the entry room, mm-hmm. grab the car keys out of the key <laughs> bowl, and are out the door and behind the driver's seat before hey, as soon as Liz sent a text saying she was going somewhere, Mira was running after her. <laughs> She got four successes. She's gone. <laughs> to be clear, which car? Um, the the van. Answer carefully. The, Good the answer. Cumulative yeah, no, that car. that's not I'm Adele's sure, car. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure Adele doesn't just. It also throw hey, Adele, grab your fucking, grab your keys, dears. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I need to solve a car wreck. <laughs> Do you text Dockagen to let him know you're on the way? Yes. As I come downstairs, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. What did you just say? I'll head. The, I'll Mark head. will also so come downstairs with all the yelling. Liz has the impression that she can drive and just drove out of here in our car. You have a car. And I need to chase her down in case she gets into a crash because she cannot go to the hospital given our nature. Right. Let's give me a dexterity and drive. Okay. I pause for a moment. I go to the window and I open it up to wait for the sound of what's going to be coming out of that car. <laughs> it automatically does the take minus one, that, right? Like, it should automatically do the penalty. You can spend willpower if you want. I don't have any willpower. I used my last willpower in making a- Excellent. I also have a drawback to this from being one-eyed. Uh, the, the one-eyed thing is only in heavy traffic. Oh, okay. Just conditions isn't going to impose it. Liz, you're, there's a little bit of slide. Oh, okay. But you are keeping it together. <sighs> there, and then there's a sigh. Red light means no... stop. Mm. Yep. Okay. There's a little sigh as there is no <laughs> of somebody who did oh, yeah. not disengage the emer- the she actually not remembered to disengage. <laughs> to take the parking her. brake. I, yeah. I showed her where the parking brake was on it. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. And we're going to make you pay for that later. Oh. <laughs> Having no idea that anything is wrong, I head to whatever address I was sent. Yep. <laughs> uh but yeah, no, the 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 van is an automatic, so Liz is not like grinding gears or anything on the way. It's mostly just you know being able to negotiate snowy streets in a city, but yeah, most should... places most places are not more than 30, 35 miles an hour. And you've been here a couple times before, so you managed to drive your ass happy ass over to Tags. 
location, which is where we will pick up next week. Holy shit. <laughs> Say goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Bye. 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 Goodbye. <laughs>